Your advertising isn't working. And every day that goes by, you're wasting time and you're wasting money. And you're basically telling people to just go work with someone else. Okay, so you know your ads aren't working because people are not emailing you, they're not calling you, you're not selling product, you're spending all this money on things and you're just not getting a return that you're hoping to get. So you know it's not working, but what do you do about it? Hopefully you have really great reporting. You have analytics set up. You have your pixel set up. You understand how people are moving through the funnel so you can look at who you're speaking to and what changes you can make. Even with all that information, most marketers and most entrepreneurs do not know what to do next. So here are the things you can fix. You can fix your creative, your ads, what they look like, what they sound like. You can fix your campaign structure. You can fix how much you spend on it or your landing pages or what it looks like. You can do almost anything, but the question you have to ask yourself is where should I start? Let's be really practical for a minute here. There are some things that cost a lot more money and take more time to change and they're higher risk and there are some things that cost less money and are lower risk to change and to test. The best thing that you can do, the most cost effective thing that you can do to make immediate changes for the littlest amount of money that will make the biggest impact is to test messaging. Test what you are saying. So if you're running an advertising campaign, think of all of the different moments from the top of the funnel to the very bottom of the funnel where you can test different messaging to see what works. And it's funny because most people don't really test messaging. They think, oh man, I gotta throw out these ads and come up with new ads. When really at the end of the day, looking at your ads in terms of what are the words we are using? What are the words in the calls to action? What is the headline of the landing page or the website? Being able to test messaging to ensure that you're saying the right things to the right people, not only in terms of the core truths or the core messaging, but the actual words you're using is the cheapest thing you can do. There's a reason that Google has moved to dynamic advertising for banner ads and remarketing. And that's because the old school way of doing things was to design a banner, a whole bunch of them, and to give them to Google, and then to be able to test them and see which one wins. And now with dynamic ads, you can write, you know, five headlines and you can write seven sub headlines and you can write three different calls to action. And in real time, dynamically, Google will pick the best combination and raise the best combination of wording to the top. In real time, Google dynamically will decide which wording is best. So you get the chance to test five different headlines and seven different sub headlines or whatever it is, but you get the opportunity to test these things. So most marketers and most entrepreneurs wanna throw the baby out with the bathwater. They wanna create brand new ideas and brand new ads and brand new creative and brand new channels and brand new landing pages when really testing your messaging, what is said and how it's said is the cheapest and most cost-effective thing you can do. I can't stress enough how fast it is for you to be able to change the messaging for the lowest cost with the highest impact over anything else you can do. And so you may wanna get fancy. You might wanna say, well, is a red button or a blue button better? Is it better to be here? Is it better to be there? And is it better to do? All of those things are great things to test. But if your messaging isn't really on point and really nailed down and really resonating with people, then it's not the place to start. So think about all the places within your entire campaign, within your entire advertising mix, where messaging is prevalent, where you're asking people to connect and asking them to drive forward. So your ad's message in terms of what you say, whether the sentiment of what you're saying works for you or not, are things that you can be testing, and it's as cheap and simple as sitting down in front of your computer and trying a few different things. Try taking a photo and putting a top banner and a bottom banner with six words on it, and try eight different versions of those words. If you're in health, you might wanna say, have achy joints in the morning? That's one message. You might wanna say, bad back and bad knees? Do you have headaches every single day? At the end of the day, are you exhausted? Worried your husband eats too much bacon? Did you have a slip and fall? Should I go on? They're like, listen, you can test all of these different messages because ultimately, like all of these different things can be tested. And it's easy to just bang them all out, try and figure out which ones represent you best and then put them into market and test them. And then once you put them into market and you're getting a higher click-through rate for a lower cost, start to incorporate those messages into the landing page, into the calls to action and take this testing at every single step throughout your entire campaign. 
And that's it. It's far more cost effective to test messaging than any other thing you can do. So test the messaging, then you can incorporate that into the entire creative. You can come up with new ideas, you can try new things. But what you can't do then is just sit on it and never change it again. Because guess what's gonna happen? It will stop resonating over time. There are gonna be new ideas, there are gonna be new thoughts, there's gonna be new excitement, especially if people are seeing your ad time and time again. There's, there's this thing known as uh, brand fatigue or advertising fatigue, where something that's in market over a long period of time, people learn to ignore. So you're gonna wanna test new messaging time after time after time after time. But if your advertising isn't working, because people are not buying, they're not calling you, they're not emailing you, you're sitting there waiting for the phone to ring. Do people still use phones? You're sitting there waiting for the leads to come in. It's because your advertising isn't working and you know that. And now you know what you have to do is test messaging. Let me know which one of my fake ads you like best. And remember, you gotta think big, you gotta be bold, and you gotta say yes. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.